TEE showing 3D normal aortic and mitral valves with color flow Doppler. Note the aortic valve ensure access at the top, the right coronary cusp, at the left, the left coronary cusp, and at the right, the non coronary cusp, and the mitral valve in the bottom. Normal functioning aortic valve. The small black gaps at the uh, leaflets are just a drop out from the ultrasound. Image has been rotated to show now the mitral valve, note the anterior leaflet of the mitral and the posterior mitral leaflet. Normal functioning mitral valve. At uh, 8 o'clock you can note the entrance of the left atrial appendage. The mitral valve divided into 1, 2 and 3 regions to facilitate orientation and description. There was also a stitch artifact created while the image was recomposed by the computer. Straight line with the reddit. A color flow Doppler showing a mild mitral insufficiency. Two small jets between the one and two region and between the two and three regions. And then color uh, different transparency pattern showing again mitral insufficiency. The image has been rotated now to show the left atrium in the top and the mitral insufficiency jet. And at the bottom, uh, color flow Doppler representing flow through the left ventricular outflow tract. So a small amount of mitral regurgitation. Showing the image, the left atrium, left ventricle, left ventricle outflow tract, and the mitral regurgitation jet. Showing also the left atrial appendage and a portion of the one region of the mitral valve. Now from inside the left ventricle we can see the mitral valve with the top leaflet being the anterior leaflet and the inferior leaflet being the posterior leaflet of the mitral valve. The left ventricular outflow tract is at 12 o'clock. The image has now been rotated to show the left ventricular outflow tract and the aortic valve cusps. Also the posterior leaflet of the mitral valve described by the 1, 2, and 3 regions, P1, 2, and 3, and the corresponding clefts that divide them. Again, this is a view from inside the left ventricle. Now, mitral opening, 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 and then the flow through the aortic valve. The image has now been rotated, and you can see left ventricle outflow tract, and again, from inside the left ventricle. So mitral inflow and ejection, inflow and ejection, inflow and ejection. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed.